Richard Branton is the publicity assistant of Athens' anti-discrimination movement. But when he heard that only one hate crime was reported at the University of Georgia in 2016, he wasn't too surprised. It's slightly surprising, but then again, um, given the culture of the state, there are feelings and sentiments that are so, sort of hidden, but they from time to time come out in acts of violence like the hate crime that you're talking about. Meanwhile, the athens Clark County Police Department, Ebby Rodriguez is busy trying to access his email. But when he opens it to find the link to this year's FBI stats, he is surprised to find how they even received these stats in the first place. Um, I, I, I couldn't tell you. I don't know. I don't know how the FBI does their stats. I don't know when they do their stats and when they release their stats. So I, I don't know why, how, where the FBI gets their stats from. Hate crime stats the FBI collects are supposed to be self-submitted. The police department did not do this to the knowledge of Rodriguez. But despite how these stats are submitted, they all must be filed as a true hate crime, none of which were filed this year in the general Athens area. Communication law expert Dr. William Lee explains what is legally considered a hate crime. People could be punished for assault, but there would not be penalty en enhancements uh, added on to the punishment if the reason they assaulted someone because they didn't like their gender orientation or their um, race. There is no hate crime statute in Georgia, and as a result, the hate crimes reported make it all the more difficult to penalize. This is Allie Bailey, Grady News Source.